In this lesson, we're going to look at the transform copy tool in 3D Coats Paint Workspace. In Photoshop, its counterpart is the free transform tool. So when I click on that, whatever layer I have selected is now surrounded by a bounding box, which you can click on a corner point and drag in a non-uniform fashion. If you hold the shift key, click and drag that same point, now it's scaling uniformly. You can also hold the control key and click on one of these points and skew that layer. You can also hold the control key and do the same thing from one of the side points here. All right. So when you are hovering outside of this bounding box, you'll see a little widget for rotation. So you can rotate your layer. And I'll hit escape, which will drop that bounding box. One option is to make a selection of that layer, to which I can now use my hotkeys for copy and paste, which is control C, create a new layer to paste it in, and then control V. And you can see it was indeed pasted into this new layer here. All right, so with that done, I'll drag that into the trash bin and we will go over to 3D Coat. So almost all of these hotkey combinations and the way the free transform tool works in Photoshop, it's almost identical. So there really is not much of a learning curve whatsoever with this particular tool. You can see here in the tool options panel, we can modulate depth, opacity of the color, and specularity. So that means if we enable all three channels, then 3D Cut will allow us to copy information from these three channels on any given layer. This one layer has some work that we did previously, so we'll just try and copy some of this over to the other side. Every once in a while I find myself forgetting that I did not have the symmetry plane on, and when I go to the other side, I realize I forgot, so now I've got to try and copy all this over. Now we looked at some of the other tools, like the Clone Stamp tool, which will allow you to quickly copy over to the other side, but you can also use this tool as well. So let me first just make a selection here with all three channels enabled. I don't think I have any specularity information on this layer, but you'll see we do have some depth and color. So let me go ahead and drag select, and I can go to the other side. And the first thing you might notice is uh, it's oriented in the wrong direction. Well, it's not to worry. We can always grab the side point and just drag it to the other side and flip it that way. Okay. Just as we could in Photoshop, you can just click a corner point, scale it in a non-uniform fashion, or hold the shift key and do it uniformly. Once again, holding the control key, you can skew just as you could in Photoshop. Same thing with a corner point. And when you click and drag outside this bounding box, you can rotate it. I would advise though, if you start outside this bounding box, but yet here in an open space, 3D Coat is going to assume you want to navigate if you're outside the object. So try and keep your cursor over an object when you try to rotate this bounding box. Okay, so all we have to do now is just hit the Enter key. Before I do that, I noticed that I previously made a change to the opacity modulation value here. So I'll set it back to 1. And as of this recording, when you hit Enter, it seems to be a bit more faint or not as intense as the original side. So, this modulation allows me to crank it up if I need to make some adjustments. So I'll undo by hitting Control Z. And this time I'll crank it up to maybe 1.5. And this just modulates how intense the color value is when I paste it, not how much it's actually copied. Okay, I'll hit Enter. And you can see it's much closer to what we had on this side. 
For precision, I might be an orthographic view, and that way on the left side I could copy and just quickly flip to the right side, and that way I don't really have to do a lot of finessing with this bounding box. So I'll hit Escape, and I'll undo. Come back to the other side here. And should you decide you want to try and copy parts of your texture over to the other side symmetrically, as in this case here where I forgot to turn symmetry on, then you can hit your S key, turn your symmetry plane on, and then make your selection. And just simply hit enter. And so that's going to paste it to the side, but it's also going to apply it to the other side as well. So I'll undo that. Escape. I should point one other thing out, and that is whenever you try to make a selection here in a 3D viewport, if you try to use something like the freeform lasso, you'll notice it's not allowing you to use it. But if I bring up the 2D texture editor here, I can now use these different selection modes. I'm right clicking in an open space and dragging to zoom in. And you can middle mouse click anywhere to pan. Go to the other side here so I can see the result. Now I can use something like a freeform lasso to make a selection. I can now click and drag in the center of this bounding box to move it about if I need. If you start to try to rotate outside in the open space here, you will be panning about in the 2D texture editor. So make sure to start your rotation inside one of these islands. I can also flip it if I need. I'll just hit enter. Hold the shift key and scale it a bit. Hold the control key, skew it somewhat. Hit the enter key. I'll hit escape to drop the bounding box. Let's go back to the tool options panel here. And the next option is to erase the old position. So hit the E key, choose my freeform lasso. And as soon as I move it, you can see it deleted that old pixel data. So now we can go ahead and scale it. Hit enter. There you go. Okay, I'll uncheck that. The copy visible layers is somewhat self-explanatory. It's going to copy the same type of information to layers that are currently visible. And what's going to happen is when you hit the enter key, it's going to apply all that copied information back onto the original layers from which that data came from. However, we do have an option here to merge all that to a new layer, essentially. I'm just going to enable color here and go ahead and make a selection. I'm going to create a new layer. So what we're doing here now is just simply copying from one layer and we're going to paste it into another. Scale just a bit more. And now hit enter. Escape to drop the bounding box. And I can test this quickly by holding the Alt key and clicking on the visibility icon of this new layer. So that will turn off all the other layers and reveal just on this one all that information that is copied. Okay, so the last options here is to export to a PSD file. Then you can import a PSD file. It doesn't have to be one that you saved here. It can be any Photoshop file. We can make a selection and then click Edit and it will send us directly to Photoshop to edit that selection. We can save it as a PSD file and just quickly import it right back in. Now, if we want to work strictly in 3D Coat, not have to worry about Photoshop, we can simply save a selection as a proprietary file, and then we can load it at any point in time, not only in the same scene, but in any other scene. 
So that will conclude this look at the Transform Copy Tool and 3D Coats. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.